Okay, my goal here is to do just two things in this video. One is to extend our material out, um, as we already can see. Um, <laughs> I, I turned on clipping just so that we could see uh, where our material is and make sure that it's in the correct spot. That's the only reason I did that. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, clicking on repeat, now we should be able to see, yeah, there it is. We should be able to see that bump extending out over the whole ocean. Let's go up here um, and hit repeat. And now we have our foam extending over the whole ocean. And then also over here, I'm going to click on this button and um, go to textures. And let's see here um, at the bottom. OK, hit repeat. And there we go. We have an ocean over the whole Sirius, <laughs> whole Sirius, whole um, surface of the ocean. Now, I made a mistake earlier, so let's fix that. Here it says single image. I forgot to change that to image sequence. And down here, let's change this to 250 frames. So now we have an ocean. Um, if we turn off, if we hit Shift Z, and uh, let's see, turn the subsurf down. If we hit play, you can see. You can see that, well, let, let's look through. There we go. We can actually see this moving. Um, let's make a quick adjustment because I know this ocean is going to rise above the camera level, the bottom camera level. So I'm going to grab the camera on the Z axis and move it up. And let's see what happens. Okay, it looks to me like I have gotten it up above uh, where that surface appears. Very good. Okay. Now, the other goal of, that I wanted to achieve is to create a new texture. And to do that, we'll have to go into Affinity Photo. So um, if you don't have Affinity Photo, there's, um, there's GIMP, which is, is free software. And I think you can, uh, well, I know that you can do um, tiling textures in GIMP. And also, there's Photoshop. So this is, Affinity Photo is, for me, is, is um, I really like it. And I think it's a little less expensive than Photoshop, a lot less expensive. So all right, what I just did, I, uh, I moved to layer 3. I'm going to add a plane. Hit period to zoom in on that plane. And then also, I'm going to add a camera and turn it into an orthographic camera. And let's change the dimensions of 2048 by 2048. Um, and then scale this up exactly. Uh, I Basically, I'm hitting S for scale, 3, and Enter. and that apparently well let's see here let's grab that camera and move it up above the grab z there we go if we look from above it's perfect so now let's i want to make a noise texture um, before i do that i'm going to make some little adjustments um, over in the scene data um, set this back to zero also i'm going to lose Filmic for just a brief time because it kind of messes with what I want, so I don't. I'm not going to use Filmic. And let's add a material. We'll call it noise. Come over here, delete the diffuse, and then add um, a noise texture. Hit Shift C to check and see what we have here. All right. So, oh, what did I do? Oh, well. So anyway, um, what I want is the black and white texture. So here's the color. And there's the black and white. And our viewer, but I, I hit Shift, let's see here, Shift, Control, and left click. And that kind of gives me, uh, gives me my viewer. Um, now I'm going to add a converter color ramp. I want to bring up the contrast on that. So I'm going to set this at 0.4. Set this one at 0.6. Ah. 
and that's pretty nice. I'm going to scale that down a little bit. I'm going to actually set the scale at 10 and the detail at 5. Let's see if that works. That might be too much. What I'm trying to do is sort of blend between two different textures and I want a kind of a smooth transition between them. So I think, I don't know. It seems like um, some of this, uh, well, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, maybe more detail. Let's see here. Yeah, no. Try three. Yeah. Two. Let's just go with two. All right. Um, I'm going to now render this out. And for sampling, I'm going to set it down to 10. You don't need 100. And for performance, I'm going to go with tile size of 32. And I think I've got everything. Let's try it. I'm going to hit F12. If it starts rendering, we'll pause recording. Yep. OK, well, I made a mistake. Um, hit F11 again to get back into. <laughs> I forgot to turn that into my render camera. All right, there we go. I hit Control-0 to do that. And now that's my render camera. And let's try this again. F12. And if it works, we'll pause recording. OK, so we have to make this into a, a tileable texture. At least I want to. I don't want straight lines on, on this. Um, so what I'm going to do is save this. Let's see here. Oh, OK, there we go. Um, actually, let's go back. I'm going to delete all of those. The, basically, I've been running this tutorial and making mistakes and then redoing it. Um, let's delete all of those textures um, that I had so that we can start over again. Okay. Now, um, F3 to save. Here we go. No textures. And we're going to save this as ocean noise. Actually, let's just type it in again. Ocean noise. All right. Save as an image. And then I'm going to bring up Affinity Photo, which is my favorite um, image processing software of choice. So, And then bring in my... Uh, my noise texture that I just created. Now we need to make this tileable and you can do this with GIMP. You could probably do it with Photoshop. I know you can do it with GIMP. GIMP is more automated but it doesn't look right to me so I, I brought it into Affinity Photo and um, up here we have filters. We're going to go down to distort and affine and then offset this by 50 percent and offset it again by 50 percent along the Y and apply that. And you can see obviously that this is a non-tiling texture. So I'm going to kind of uh, use my in painting brush tool, um, enlarge it a little bit, and just kind of move along the seams here. See what it does. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to change that float about 75. Nope. Uh, I like, uh, whoops, 10. Um, well, the hardness is not, it's not a very hard. Okay, let's try it again. Just do it again. And then I'll go back and make adjustments. Uh, okay. Doesn't have to be perfect either. Yeah, and you, when you see these straight edges, it's just, no, that doesn't work. 
doesn't look right. Yeah, still. Okay, uh, that's a little better. Also, there's some spots that are just... Okay, one more. All right. So now, let's check this. And I'm always checking everything that I do. Um, filters, distort, affine, and then um, rather than go all the way back to the original starting position, I'm going to go 25% this time and see that if I see if I can spot. And yeah, look, there's some little straight edgy things. So um, back with the brush. Okay, not perfect, but it doesn't need to be. We just need some noise. Okay, um, one more time. Filters, distort, fine. Take it back to its original spot. And there we go. Okay, Oof, I don't like that. Yep, that looks better to me. Okay, so now export, JPEG. Actually, let's do it as a PNG because I want to replace the one that I just used. We're going to call it Ocean Noise. Just replace that one. Save. Yes, I want to replace it. Now let's um, save another one. And what I'm going to do is come up here on the layer and invert and save it again. Export, PNG, export, ocean noise inverted. So we want two exact negative copies of each other, as close as we can get. Save. Alright, so just to show you, I have the negative version and the positive version. Okay, so we're going to use those to mix the ocean together. Um, all right, so bring back up Blender, and that's the end of this video.